Just the Real Food Alchemist, and today we're going to make some cauliflower crust pizza. Um, let's just go ahead and start and go over the ingredients. It says that you need one cook, a cup cooked rice cauliflower. That's what we have here. Actually, we have probably definitely more than a cup. Um, you need one cup shredded mozzarella. You need one egg beaten, already done, if you can see that. It's one egg already beaten in there. And then you need a half a teaspoon of crushed garlic. And I didn't put that in there. And I didn't have any garlic salt, so I did a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder to make garlic salt. And then it says the one half tablespoon crushed garlic. We'll get that while we're in the midst of it. Um, and that's it. Then I have my pepperonis over here that I've made from chicken sausages because I don't eat pork. And some of my vegetable toppings, which is some sweet bell pepper and some purple onion. I'm really not overdoing it. This is my first time making it, so I want to make sure that the crust can hold up. I also have my pizza sauce. This is a BPA free freezable ball jar. I had some left over for making my son's um, gluten free namaste pizza so we'll just set this to the side. Alright let's get this going. Alright I've already preheated my oven to 450 degrees while I was prepping everything. Alright it says in a medium bowl stir together one cup cauliflower egg and mozzarella and then you add the oregano, the crushed garlic, garlic salt, and all that other good stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. So, since I already have my mozzarella in here, I'm just going to put that one cup of mozzarella in there. And I need to get it off the oven because it's, it's hot. You don't want the heat from that to melt your cheese. And I had shredded some extra... And I went ahead and stuck that in the fridge because I don't want that to start clumping up on me or make it hard to work with. You don't want that to happen. Ooh, I am making a mess. I'm trying to work fast here. So you want exactly a cup. And I'm kind of packing it down to make sure I get a good cup in there. And the good thing about this rice is you can use it for a lot of things. It's amazing to have yet another purpose. Oh, the la another thing that you probably won't, we'll talk about later is a greased pan with parchment paper. So I went ahead and did that. Set that to the side. Next I'm going to put my, excuse me a moment, Charlie, I'm busy. You no, go to your room. No, if you're going to tear your computer up, then you can go to your room. No, go to your room. No, I'm not arguing with you. You need to go do it right now. No, don't shut it. Just go. I'll call you down in a minute. So I get this all together. And I want to, I'm going to go ahead and mix the, the cauliflower and cheese. It's mixing very easily. I'm not having any issues. I'm just using a fork. The same fork I used to beat the egg. So, you do that. Alright, now that it's good and mixed, I'm going to go ahead and put the garlic powder, salt, and oregano. And I'm kind of just sprinkling it on here so it incorporates better. And they also said that you need a half a teaspoon of crushed garlic. So I'm going to be quick about that. I have some. This saves a lot of time. It's already cut up. That looks like a half a teaspoon. Put that in there. And we mix. So far, so good. 
It actually smells pretty good right now, even now. I'm probably going to regret making so little. But, you know, you, you never know until you try it. So this is what it's like. And once I get it on the thing and spread out, um, I'll go ahead and, and get you there. Okay, so we're back. So you take your um, already greased, I grease it with olive oil on the, underneath the parchment paper. Then I put the parchment paper down. So really, and you know, if you have to, shift it. This is just to keep it non-stick. And then here is the end result. The stuff that I'm about to pat down, which you don't know, or what you didn't see, is I doubled the recipe. It looks so good and it smelled so good already. I was like, this is, I'm, I'm going to have to make more. You know, between me and my son, we'll eat the whole thing probably in one sitting. I know that's kind of sad, but here we go. So far, this recipe has been relatively easy, and all you do is pat it down. And I'm just going to leave that to the side because later I'm going to make a meat so to put up because it's nice to have that on days that you don't feel like cooking. So I'm just kind of patting it down. I don't know if you can see that noise. It's terrible, but bear with me. So I'm just patting it down. I'm trying to get it as equal a thickness as possible. I use a smaller cookie tray so that way I could try to get it to fit the pan if all possible. You know what, I think I probably could have tripled the recipe and it would have been perfect for that. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to do that with this. But it, cooking's really all about thinking on your feet. You know, you kind of do it as you go along and make sure you get try to get a uniform thickness I'm seeing here how it's like kind of trying to separate on me and to keep from that I'm making sure that I'm kind of doing this to kind of easily work without separating it too bad because you don't want little holes in there I mean obviously you want this to be like authentic pizza so so far, I've discovered that it, it will try to move on you and make like little holes and just a gentle touch, just like that. If you can see what I'm doing. See, that wasn't so bad. This has so far been the quickest part. Make sure I have all that there. I had a spot that was separating on me, fixing it right now. And you just want to make sure again, uniform thickness. Did it again, did it again, did it again. Okay. I think I can live with this. Um, this is definitely close enough for government work. If you can see that. It looks really pretty. It almost looks like a real pizza crust. You know, if somebody lied to me, I, I don't know. I probably wouldn't know. Alright, we'll come back with the finished product and later we'll put toppings on it as well.